Now that we know how to find an inverse function, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about another way to prove that two functions are inverses of each other. Before, what we had learned is we had to find f of g of x to be equal to x, and find that g of f of x had to be equal to x. Well, now what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, find another way. And the other way we're gonna prove that two functions are inverse is we're actually gonna take one function in this case, f of x. And what we're going to do is we're going to find its inverse. It would only make sense that if you take f of x and you find the inverse of f of x, if the inverse of f of x is equal to g of x, then those two functions have to be inverses. So just a reminder, to find the inverse function, we switch x and y, and then we'll solve for y. So we're gonna go ahead and subtract two from both sides. When we get x minus two is equal to three y, and then what we're going to do is we're going to divide both sides by 3. So when we do this, we get y is equal to x minus 2 divided by 3. So the inverse of our f function, as you can see, is the same thing as our g function. So that proves that those two functions are inverses. So either of these methods, the first method that we learned was to find f of g of x, equal to x, and uh, also g of f of x equal to x. So you can use that method, or you can take one function and find its inverse. If it's equal to the other function, then obviously the two functions are inverse functions.